Welcome to our subject design of transmission system. Today we are going to solve one problem on design of VPL drive using fundamental equations or basic equation. The problem is given as two shafts whose center distance one meter apart are connected by a VPL drive. The driving pulley is supplied with a power of 100 kW has an effective diameter of 300 mm. It runs at 1000 rpm while the driven pulley runs at 375 rpm. The angle of groove on the pulley is 40 degrees. The permissible tension in 400 mm square cross sectional area of the belt is 2.1 megapascal. The density of the belt is 1100 kg per meter cube. Taking the coefficient of friction as 0.28, determine the number of belts required and length of the belt. This is the given data. So, we need to understand the problem, right, clearly. So, uh, we can read the twice, then we need to underline the numerical values, whatever given in the problem. Then we are going to write the data as given data. First thing is, center distance C is given as 1 meter, that is 1000 millimeter. Power transmitter B is given as 100 kilowatt. Diameter of driving pulley small d is given as 300 millimeter. Speed of the drive pulley N1 is given as 1000 rpm. Okay, then speed of driven pulley is given as N2 is 375 rpm. V crew angle that is given for the V pelt drive 2 beta is given as 40 degree. Then we are going to calculate semi cone angle beta is nothing but 40 by 2 20 degree. Permissible stress sigma is given as 2.1 mega Pascal. We are going to convert into Newton per meter square by using the relationship. Then we get the sigma is 2.1 into 10 power 6 Newton per meter square. Area of the belt is given as A 400 millimeter square. Convert into meter square 400 into 10 power minus 6 meter square. Density rho is 1100 kg per meter Meter, meter cube coefficient of friction mu is given as 0.28. First step we are going to calculate the diameter of driven pulley. We know that the speed ratio i is equal to d by d which is further equal to n1 by n2. Now we need to calculate this diameter of larger pulley right which is equal to 1000 by 375 multiplied by 300 we can get the value as 800 millimeter step number two we are going to calculate the mass of belt per meter length m yeah. we know that from the density relationship mass m equal to density into value density is given as rho and value is a into l here we are going to take rho as 1100 a is 410 power minus 6 l is unit length so 1 meter we are going to take then we can get the mass of the belt is 0.44 kg per meter next step is calculation of centrifugal tension we know that centrifugal tension in the belt Tc is equal to mv square where m is mass of the belt v is the speed of the belt in meter per second we can calculate by the formula pi d n by 60 into 1000 substitute the values we can get 15.71 meter per second now take this value m as 0.44 into v as 15.71 whole square we get the centrifugal tension as 108.56 newton Next step, we calculate the maximum tension in the belt. We know this formula that is D max equal to based on the stress. Stress into area of cross section. Stress is given as 2.1 in 10 power 6 multiplied by area of 400 in 10 power minus 6. We can get the value T max as 840 newton. Step number 5, now calculate the tension on tight side of the V belt. We know the another relationship between the T max and the T1. 
d max is equal to t1 plus tc from this relationship d1 maximum tension equal to t max minus tc d max is already we calculated as 840 tc is 108.56 difference you can get the value as 731.44 newton step number 6 now calculate angle of contact theta now theta is equal to 180 degree minus 60 into d minus t by c substitute the value we will get the value as 150 degree now we need to convert into radian multiplied by 5 by 180 we can get the values as 2.618 radian next step step number seven now calculate the ratio of belt tensors we know that for V belt try T1 by T2 is equal to E power mu theta by sin beta. Now from this formula we can find out the tension and slack side D2 is T1 by E power mu theta by sin beta. Substitute these values we get T2 as 85.78 Newton. Next step number 8, power transmitted by one belt. B is equal to T1 minus T2 into V. Here you substitute the value, we can get the uh, power as 10,143.3 watts. Step number 9, now we are going to find out number of belts required, which is calculated by the formula total power transmitted by power transmitted by one belt so 100 in 10 power 3 by 10143.3 we get 9.8 so we can take the next even number next higher value as 10 pence is required for this application then last step is we need to find out the length of the belt we know that L equal to for open belt drive 2c plus y by 2 into d plus t plus d minus t whole squared by 4c substitute these values we will get L as 3.5 48 meter thanks for watching this video